this is the first we um we got snowed in as you can tell and uh we come out in the morning usually to scrape off any poo from overnight and close these buggers off come around the corner to our surprise there's a little black cat here freezing shivering you okay kitty are you okay oh she looks like she's oh i know you're soaking wet huh soaking wet she found reprieve with these buddies hey good boy you know you've been gentle with this kitty what are you guys doing you left her here you can see she struggled to find a place in the snow you know, looks like she found a nice sunny spot here to get warm well we might just have a new barn cat here poor thing well <clears throat> Glad you found reprieve here, little kitty. We're gonna leave her alone, or him. And uh, probably won't feed it right now because I don't really want to encourage a ton of random strays to come. But she can definitely enjoy, or he, some sunshine here. And I think we'll uh, close this off and let it warm up here in the sun. Well, this is just amazing. Harry went to the cat. She's breathing on it. Hi, Albert. Yeah. Maybe we'll leave the feeder open today, unexpectedly. Let them be around the cat. Unbelievable. We have strays in the area, but they never really come too close. They maybe walk through the paddock. And uh, we never, never had one actually hang out with them that we've known of. Ricky just came over to say hi, and Harry pushed her right out of the way. Nice and gentle. Good girl, Harry. Good girl. Yeah. We got a new friend. You know, it's really interesting how life works and uh, <laughs> animals teach you so much and um, it's really really cool so we were um, waking up to this major snowfall that unexpectedly happened and um, realized it's Palm Sunday today it's a pretty significant story in the Bible, of course, and um, significant in many reasons. One is that uh, for us specifically, it mentions donkeys quite a bit, and um, if you look at the Bible, Matthew uh, chapter 21, <coughs> and um, verses 1 through 5, there's a lot of talk about um, how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday on a donkey. And there's quite a few mentions of a donkey in, um, in the Bible. And it, the donkey is actually portrayed as a symbol of uh, service, suffering, peace. Uh, is an important one, and uh, humility. And uh, a lot of people interpret the reason that 
Jesus chose a donkey to ride into Jerusalem um, was as a sign of his love and compassion for people. And um, no better animal to portray love and compassion than a donkey. <clears throat> Many times you would have seen biblically somebody ride in on a powerful horse or um, something much more intimidating than a <laughs> little donkey. Sorry, my hand's shaking. It's cold. It's like 16 degrees out today. And uh, Jesus chose to ride in on a donkey and um, show the people that compassion and love that he had um, and that he was there to serve people. And if you do a little research about Jerusalem donkeys, you can see that they actually wear a cross. We'll have Miss Molly demonstrate that cross. And uh, maybe how about Miss Becky? She's a little shorter. Hi, Becky. You can see the cross right there on her back. Goes right down the sides. And uh, those are Jerusalem donkeys that have that cross. And again, I'm so sorry I'm shaking. I'm zooming in on everybody, just relaxing. And senior boys are having their senior meals. <clears throat> Anyway, um, there's people that can better explain the symbolism of a donkey biblically than I can, um, but nonetheless, it's Palm Sunday, and we think about it every time, and a lot of our friends who are religious think about it, and um, often they'll talk to us about it, and it's really, really cool for us, and I think it's really unique that for the first time ever we have this other little animal that was in need of uh, some kindness and these donkeys that can be a complete pain in the butt <laughs> around the feed bale and push each other and be really difficult with each other gave it like an incredible amount of space you can see these guys are set up over here and then We've got this whole side that's in the sun. That's actually the best spot in the house for this little cat. And when I first discovered it, I was just coming out here to rake. Um, and it was soaking wet, its tail, and didn't move. And I thought maybe it was injured. Because um, they are not used to cats. And uh, they can kill a coyote just by biting its neck and stepping on it so i um, not really sure what I expected it would react like or what they'd react like and what did they do but show <laughs> service and kindness peace humility even giving it this little spot here and all the definitions of really what uh, a donkey is and what they do so, I know not everybody uh, is religious, reads the Bible, goes to church, that's okay. This is Sunday, Palm Sunday, and I'm not at church, um, but I am religious, and we are religious, and we are proud to serve these Jerusalem donkeys that are in our care, that uh, can do it on their own, and have been wronged by so many people along the way. And you're all part of that, part of our mission here to, uh, to help these souls. So <laughs> there's our Palm Sunday service that is not in a church. And this is our little new buddy that the donkeys were kind enough to not crush and give a nice warm spot in the sun. I hope you all have a good day. You had to know there was a part two coming up, so... We went and grabbed a shelter for this little bugger and it's already tried to escape. As we were walking out of the barn, we saw all the tracks walking around um, in the deep snow where it obviously couldn't uh, 
get out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go try to give this little bugger a safe place to uh, spend the day. Well, not sure where this kitty was going, but it was on this path. So, yeah, okay. We got it all set up here. A nice little a hoodie. Hi. Bowl of water. Yeah. It didn't even try to move when I picked it up. It didn't wince in pain or anything though, so that was good. And it's just exhausted trying to navigate 18 inches of snow. It's definitely a younger cat. So I think I'll do a little something here to block them off from getting to it, but I can still get in and out. And at least it's got a safe place if it needs to stay the night. I know. And uh, there's a place to, to get some rest. So. There's the story of the black cat at Maple Rock Farm. I guess like everything, we'll find out where the story goes next.